Welcome to this new video tutorial of SagePay payment gateway for the Magento 2 platform based uh, web store and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the customers would be able to select the SagePay payment gateway at the time of checkout and how they can make a payment uh, using the same for the orders that they want to place within your Magento 2 based web store apart from that we'll also be showing you how the admin would be able to initially configure the plugin itself so uh, let's get in and let's see how this particular plugin works so for that i'll just take you to the storefront first so here i'm at the uh, customers login page uh, within your magento 2 web store and uh, i'll be entering my username and password and i'll be tapping on the sign in button to sign into my customer account so you can see on the left hand side i have the customer uh, account options here now uh, let's go and let's check the uh, the flow of this particular payment plugin so for that i'll be uh, adding a few products into my cart so let's go to the jackets uh, subcategory of uh, the woman and uh, from here i'll just select some products and uh, i'll be adding them to the cart so i've added around three products here and the three products are here and the total is for 215 uh, pound sterling so I'll just tap here on the proceed to checkout button now and here on the checkout page uh, we'll have to uh, select our shipping address and uh, the shipping method so I'll just choose the uh, table rate shipping method for this and on the right hand side uh, you can see the order summary here along with the details of the custom options of the products as well now let's tap here on the uh, next button and now you can see that we are on the checkout page now and here under the payment methods you can see that we have two payment methods one is the sage pay and the other one is the uh, check and money order so we are demonstrating the working of the uh, sage pay so i'll just choose that up and on the right hand side here you can see the card subtotal discount and the rest of the details so we need to pay around uh, uh, 172 pound sterlings and uh, the sage pay basically uh, uh, supports uh, different cards here as you can see like Visa, Mastercard, JCB, Discover, Maestro and other cards as well so uh, now the customer just needs to enter his uh, credit card number uh, the expiry date for the same and the card verification number thereafter he can check this checkbox and uh, before placing the order uh, he needs to agree to the terms and conditions so you can set those uh, terms and conditions for the usage of the payment uh, method there and uh, or your web store as well and then he can uh, proceed further to place the order so uh, let me enter the credit card number and the rest of the details first so I'll enter my uh, credit card number the month and the expiry and uh, then I'll be entering my card verification number after I'll just tap here on the uh, place order button all right I've just mistyped the uh, credit card number let me uh, reset that now uh, let me tap on the place order button so I, I had uh, the card number wrong there so I've just replaced it with a with an master uh, credit card number and uh, after the details I'll just tap here on the place order button now we are uh, redirected to the SagePay uh, site itself and here you can see that uh, it's uh, uh, the test environment right now and uh, here uh, the vendor is the SagePay demo account and the purchase amount is 172 GBP to the password here and then I'll be tapping here on the submit button and you can see that the uh, purchase has completed so uh, let's tap here on this particular order number and here you can see the order number is uh, 017 and uh, the items that we had three items were there and the total was for 172 pound sterlings and the shipping was uh, table rate and the payment method was saved pay using the credit card type as mastercard and the credit card numbers last four digits are also visible to the customer so that's how the customers can uh, basically uh, place the orders uh, for the uh, for the uh, products that they want to purchase from your Magento 2 web store and uh, 
you can also see that uh, the details are visible within the uh, uh, items ordered and on the invoice as well under the payment method you can see that we use the sage pay and the credit card type along with the credit card number is there so that's how the customer can easily make use of the uh, sage pay payment gateway to make the payments within your store now uh, now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel let's see uh, how this particular order appears to the uh, admin so here i'm at the uh, back end of my imagine to do web store and i'll be logging into my admin account by entering my username and the password so i'll just tap one more time here on the sign in button and uh, after login the admin will navigate through sales and then orders and the order number that we had uh, as a customer it was uh, 017 in the last so here's the order number 017 and let's tap here on the view button so this brings up the info of the uh, particular order that has been placed by the customer here you can see the payment information is there that uh, the sage pay was used as uh, the payment gateway for placing the order the credit card type used and the credit card number the last four digits are also visible to the store end uh, store admin and apart from that uh, the admin can also see the uh, currency that was used for placing the order itself along with the items that were ordered and here you can see that the total is uh, 172 pounds sterlings now apart from the order info under the order way we can also go to the transaction section and from here the uh, admin can check the particular order id and the uh, transaction id uh, the payment method that was used and uh, the type of the transaction it's captured right now whether it's closed or not and the creation date as well so to check more details just tap here on this particular transaction that has been generated for this uh, payment uh, that has been made by SagePay. pay then you have the transaction id parent id order id transaction type is capture and the details as well and uh, no child transaction transactions are there and uh, the basic transaction details are here as well like uh, the status code the status details transaction id type uh, retrieval reference number bank res uh, response number the authorization code uh, the currency the status the total amount the sale amount and the uh, 3d secure status as authenticated so that's how the admin can also check the complete transaction details for the orders that have been placed using the uh, sage payment gateway now uh, let's go back to the orders section and let me open this particular order once again that's the order number 017 i'll just tap you on the wave link under the actions column now let's go to the invoices and uh, here the admin can find the invoice of this particular uh, order let's tap here on the view button so here you can see the uh, payment info is here as well and the admin can check the sage pay uh, details here that were used and the items within that particular order as well so that was how the admin can check the details of the payment uh, method under the invoices as well now what if the admin wants to generate a refund for this particular order that was uh, placed using the sage pay payment gateway so we need to navigate to the invoice of that particular order and then tap here on the credit uh, memo and that would bring up this uh, particular screen as you can see new memo for the order number 10 and uh, from here the admin can make a refund to the customer and for that we have two buttons one is the refund online refund offline basically i'm sorry for that and the refund uh, refund offline is like uh, you'll refund online then you will have this uh, receipt then you will manually be transferring the amount to the uh, customer's uh, account otherwise you can use this refund button to automatically uh, refund the amount uh, into the card that was made uh, that was used to make the payment for uh, the orders that were placed within your web store so uh, let's uh, see how we can make a refund so we'll be making it as return to stock return to stock and return to stock both of these three products and uh, thereafter uh, we'll be 
all right we have the uh, total here has 172 dollars actually we don't have any uh, uh, shipping there uh, we had to run the zero shipping that was the table rate so otherwise you can enter the shipping as well if there's any shipping applicable and that would also be adjusted here and uh, from here uh, we'll be able to uh, make a refund online so I'll just tap you on the refund button and uh, before that let me tap you on the update totals and refund and you can see that the credit memo has been generated uh, for the order itself and here you can see that we have refunded 172 uh, GBP into your account and the transaction ID is this for uh, the refund and if you go to the transactions we have this refund thing we have the capture initially and now we have the refund uh, uh, details as well for the transaction and here you can see the amount transaction type as refund and the status is okay along with the currency and the bank authorization code as well and the same uh, refund is visible to the customers as well so let me refresh the uh, section here for the order number 017 and uh, now let's go to the refunds and uh, under refunds the customer can see the details of the refunds so here you can see that uh, a uh, grand total of 172 uh, GBP has been returned to the uh, customer. The actual subtotal was $215 within which we had a discount of uh, $43. So according to that, the row totals are also displayed along with the discounted amount and the other details as well. So that was how this particular Sage Pay Payment uh, Gateway works uh, for your Magento 2 web store, allowing your customers to pay very easily using their credit cards online and you can also make a, a quick refund uh, without any issues by just tapping a button uh, that we have provided under the credit memo section there so uh, if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webquill.com or you may raise a ticket at webquill.uvitus.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead